Another thing that I wanted to talk about, and in this thumbnail, we had Devin on there, and we also had Charles Bassey, who mm. just got that four-year deal. Um, he's a part of our future. We were kind of talking about it. We, we were talking about with what he was showing in the G League. It really felt like it, that that deal solidified it. Um, and, I mean, I don't know. Maybe we're going to get Ken Berkman at Seathen, but but I think it's probably going to be Zach and Charles with, with that contract signing. Um, what are what are you most excited about uh, for Charles? I'm just excited to see if his mentality stays the same. Because in the G League, he is Shaq. Like, he, he demands the ball in the post. Except he gets put shoot. back dunks. He gets rebounds. <laughs> yeah. He gets pull-up jumpers, fadeaways, you know, spot-up three. Like, he can do everything in the G League. And we've seen that before. Obviously, the Spurs are expecting it to translate because they gave him a four-year deal. That really hasn't happened in the past with some of the guys that have dominated in the G League, i.e. Lucas Samanich, right. Drew, Drew <laughs> Eubanks. You know, the names go on and on. So I, I just want to know, because Zach Collins is getting more touches in the post. So are we going to kind of continue to that trend? But with Bassey now coming in, I'm assuming off the bench, you know, is he going to continue to play at that higher level? Or is the speed and strength of the NBA going to kind of take its toll on him? How long will that take for him to get over that hump? There's so many questions about it, but I'm excited because he has a four-year deal. So clearly yeah. we see something, and in the future we think that he's going to be a capable big. Yeah, and just 22 years old. So yeah. I mean, He's basically a rookie. we got to think right. of him like a rookie that spent three or four years in, in college, and now right. he's ready for the NBA. Yep, yep. I'm super excited about it. Um, I, I think that there's going to be a little bit of a learning curve. We kind of saw that in the last game. And the reason why is if you remember when he came back in and broke the record and was just being a monster, Pop said it in the press conference. He's like, he doesn't know what he's doing right now. We just told him to go in there and play hard because we, because yeah. Jakob's hurt and we need somebody in the rotation. Like you, you know what I mean? Right, right. And, but, um, now, I think after being in Austin, he has a better understanding of the system. And obviously, he's still going to have to learn some more things, you know, just being a, a rotation player, because I'm sure there's differences from Austin to San Antonio as well. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I think, like I said, it's going to be a little bit of a slow stuff start because of the fact that he like actually knows the schemes now. So he's like going to be trying to follow that more so i think there's going to be a little bit of mix-ups just getting the chemistry down with all of those guys before he was like he's like disregard the scheme just go play where now it's going to be like we want you to use all the tools we know you have but also now we want you to use it like within our system um yeah so i think i think there's just going to be like you said with reintegrating everybody it's kind of going to be like a new start again